Hey everybody, this is So Heidi, and this tutorial will show you the quickest and easiest way to add tech callouts to your fashion sketches in Illustrator. So the first thing I always do within Illustrator to create my tech sketch is I lock the layer that my sketch is on and I create a new layer for my callouts. If you want to get organized, you can name these. So we'll name this sketch and the next layer we will name callouts. And from here, this is where the simple trick happens. I'm gonna grab my pen tool, that's the tool I like to use. You could use the line segment tool, whatever you want. And I'm going to give my stroke a color of, let's say red. That's typically what I do my callouts in. Now, I'm going to add my first callout and I'm just gonna draw a path right here. So let's zoom in on that. Now, by default, my path is just a blank path, okay? But I want to add some arrowheads to it because I want to point to something specific within my sketch. So I'm going to come over to my stroke panel, okay? And I'm going to choose which arrowhead I want. Now, I typically just choose the first one here. If your arrowhead goes on the wrong side of your path, it's very simple to change. Just switch the direction right here. You can change the scale, mess with some of the details here. Let's keep it pretty simple for now. So once I have that arrowhead drawn, I'm going to come down to my graphic styles, and this is the really cool trick. We're going to create a few different graphic styles for our arrowhead callouts, and we're only gonna have to create them once, and we can use them over and over in every single tech sketch we do for the rest of our life. So within my graphic styles panel, I'm just gonna choose on new graphic style. Now note, I do this while I have the arrowhead selected. So new graphic style, it automatically creates the arrowhead for me. I am going to create one with the arrow on the opposite end. So I will switch the direction of the arrow and I will create another arrowhead. So that one has, excuse me, another graphic style. So now that graphic style has the arrowhead going the other way. I'm gonna create one more. I'm going to add an arrowhead on both sides because sometimes we're creating a call out where we have arrowheads on both sides and I'll create a third graphic style for that. So it's hard to see, but let's see if I can zoom in on this. You see we have a preview. So this one, the arrowhead goes on this side of the path. This one goes on the other and this one, it goes on both. So that's a really great trick to quickly and easily add arrowheads. Not only does it add the arrowheads, but it changes the color of the stroke. So let's delete that path. Let's say we're drawing and we're using our default settings. So I'll just hit the D key on my keyboard. That gives me default settings, which is a black stroke, a white fill, and a one point stroke weight. And now I wanna start adding callouts. So as I create this path here, I don't have to change the color, remove the fill color, add the arrowheads. All I do is I come over to my graphic styles and I say, I want that graphic style for that path. Now we'll hit the return key to disconnect from that. And let's say I want to draw another path uh, call out pointing to this pocket here. And I'm gonna apply the graphic style. That's not the one I want, the arrow's on the wrong side. That's okay, I have the other one right here. So that one's done, I'll hit the return key. And last but not least, let's pull one of these that shows uh, both arrowheads. Okay, so maybe you're gonna put one right there. Um, that's probably not where you'd have it in real life, but that's close enough. From here, I would apply all my arrows and then I would come and with my text box, I would just click and drag with my text tool and start typing, um, let's see, rivet or branded rivet here, C detail sketch or something like that. So I would continue to add all my callouts for that. Now, the, here's the cool thing about graphic styles. As I said, you can use them over and over. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click the drop down. Once I've created all the different graphic styles that I want for my sketches, I'm gonna click the drop down right here. I'm gonna say save graphic style library. Now by default, this is gonna load me into my graphic styles folder, that's great. And so maybe these are my text sketch styles. Okay, because maybe I have different ones for text sketches and different ones for my flats or what have you, but we'll just say this one is text sketches. I'll save that. Now, if I create a new document, Commander Control N, we come in and notice I no longer have those graphic styles loaded. That's fine. I can just come to my drop down. I can choose open graphic style, user defined, and look, my text sketch styles are right there. So I open that up and now I've got the three arrowheads ready to add to my text sketch. So this is great. If you do things like you always create the outline of your sketch as 
uh, two point stroke and the style lines on the inside is a 0.5 stroke and you have specific settings for all your stitching and your dash lines. You can create all of these as graphic styles and just continue to use them over and over and all your sketches will be cohesive and you don't have to keep changing all the settings. So I hope you guys love that trick. Really cool shortcut for using Illustrator for fashion. If you like what I'm doing and you'd like to see more of it, go ahead and visit my website at SoHeidi.com and sign up for my email list. I give out tons of free content, lots of stuff you don't see here, free downloads, tutorials, videos, all sorts of fun stuff, and I would love to get to know you there. So check that out. In the meantime, keep watching. I'm here every Wednesday with a new tutorial just for you. I will see you next week. Bye-bye.